What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, showcasing Hisuian Typhlosion in Ranked Regulation F. Now, Hisuian Typhlosion, I used in past formats, and it is a very strong Pokemon due to the fact it learns one of the best fire moves in the game, Eruption. So we're going to be pairing that up with Whimsicott, setting Sunny Day, setting up Tailwind, and trying to get after it with Hisuian Typhlosion. But this Pokemon right here is rocking the Frisk ability so we can actually see our opponent's items. And on top of that, it's got choice specs, making it do insane amount of damage. It's got Focus Blast for coverage move, Shadow Ball for stab, and then it has Eruption for big time double damage, and Flamethrower for single stab damage. Love Hisuian Typhlosion, love its design, and I just love its typing being Fire and Ghost. Other Pokemon on today's team feature Whimsicott and Frigraph are two support Pokemon. Whimsicott, like we already mentioned here to set up the Tailwind and the Sunny Day, but it's also rocking Fake Gears to drop the special defense of opposing Pokemon. So if we're going into a Pokemon like Walking Wake or even Typhlosion, our other special attacker, I can drop special defense and have those Pokemon pretty much one shot anybody. Frigraph's got that Trick Room support with Dazzling Gleam, Trick Room Helping Hand, and Side Shock. Absolutely love this Pokemon. If we need to counter Trick Room or set it, Frigraph is our go to. On top of that, it's got Armor Tail, one of the best abilities in the game, stopping all first turn priority moves. Our final three Pokemon on today's team, like we already mentioned, one of them is going to be Walk and Wake, and then the other two are Physical Attackers, Iron Hands, and Dark Urshifu. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using Hisuian Typhlosion. Before we get started with match number one, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator. It goes by the name of George. George, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for leaving this team over on my Twitter page. And thank you so much for watching the videos. But we're going up against a Sceptile team. And Sceptile is an all-time favorite Pokemon of mine. It's going to be a really cool matchup for us. But um, we have to watch out for Flash Fire on the Arm Rouge. That could definitely eat us up. So I think we're going to lead a Pokemon like Whimsicott and Typhlosion. I kind of like that lead going into this matchup here. I kind of do like that lead, and I think I am going to end up doing the, doing that, right? Do I do it? Yeah, we have Shadow Ball just in case, but I'm going to go into both of them. I am going to bring Walking Wake, and last but not least, we could go Urshfu, or we could just go Late Game Iron Hands, and I kind of lean towards Urshfu just because I really like this Pokemon, and it has Focus Sash. Wicked Blow is also a deadly move, can do some big time damage, so that is the Pokemon I want to bring in here. Looking for a win here in match number one. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Sableye is definitely an option. Could pop a Rain Dance, which could get rather scary. And it could fake me out as well. Actually, you can't fake me out because I'm Ghost type on Typhlosion. And I got Cobra Cloak on the other Pokemon. But this looks like an Unburdened Sceptile kind of play, right? Most likely. Correct? Makes the most sense. So I'm going to see that it has Mirror Herb. Okay, so Sceptile has Mirror Herb. So he probably wants to... Swagger one of my Pokemon, which makes the most sense, right? Swagger, Mirror Herb, pop the stats. But I'm just gonna go for a Tailwind here, and I'm just gonna look to erupt, right? Do I go Fire Tower here? No, we're just gonna say normal. We're just gonna say normal. So we're just gonna look to erupt here. He's going to detect the Sceptile, and I wonder what he's going to do with Sableye here. What you got cooking here? Because Eruption is gonna do some nice damage over onto Sableye. Which we're now choice into. And I could set the sun next turn. I'm gonna flatter. I'm gonna go in with a nice little flatter. So flatter comes out here, boosting my special attack, but confusing me. So this septile has gotta be special attacking boosting. So we're just gonna mirror herb that and get unburdened pot as well. So we're hoping Typhlosion can still outspeed the what's it called? The septile here. Because if it can, that's massive. Because I'm just, I'm gonna set the sun today here. Eruption taken out the same line. That's huge. And we got Tailwind set up. So I'm looking to set up the Sunny Day. And kind of go from there. Because Sableye was their only Pokemon to stop the weather, right? But Sceptile's here. And now they got Armors. And I'm choice into this move, which kind of stinks. Do I do a Hard Swap here? I could do a Hard Swap. Into Walking Wake. Or even into Urshifu. Which wouldn't be bad. It wouldn't be bad. Let me see the speeds of you guys. Let me see the speeds. Because I would rather reset my choice on my Hisuian Typhlosion. Your speed's not bad. Our speeds are rather high. I'm going to go into Urshifu here. Yeah, it's going to be my play. Unburdened Sceptile. I am scared, like I said, of the armor. 
Because they are probably going to terrestrialize the what's it called? The Sceptile. It has Unburden. It's ready to go. But I'm going to do this. And I'm going to pop Sunny Day regardless. Just because two of my Pokemon in the back end really thrive with it. So we'll set the Sunny Day here. We will do the hard swap action here. He wants to go for a Psychic move. I don't mind that because I am Dark. But there's the terrestrialize from... Ooh, Armor Rouge, not Sceptile. So I should have just went into the Eruption. I really should have just went into the Eruption. In all honesty. In all honesty, I should have just went to the I'm going to be confused here. Can I please pop the sunny day? No ducks allowed. And of course I can't. Of course I get confused. I feel like whenever I confuse my opponents, they end up just uh, just hitting through it anyway. But Dragon Pulse hitting rather hard. Meteor Beam flying through here. Are you doubling down into this slot? Are you Power Herb? You're Power Herb with Meteor Beam. That's a little, that's a little wild. Please go after Wimscott. Nope. Bye bye, Urshpu. So we kind of just sacrificed the Urshpu. Didn't think they were going to double down into this slot. Alright, Urshpu. But I get to reset my choice. I could go in the Walking Wake here. Could go in the Walking Wake. What's your special attack? Your special. Your speed's actually going to get boosted. Oh my lord, what do I want to do here? I feel like we just want a choice. Yeah, let's go into these guys. Okay, so we could attack the Sceptile. Sceptile could protect, though. I feel like we might want to attack the Armors here. I feel like we might want to attack the Armors with the plus boost. So I'm going to try doubling down into this. Actually, I could just fake tears. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fake tears. Shadow Ball into Armors. We're not even going to set the sun. We don't want the sun right now. So I'm so confused. Can I please get off a of turn one shot? Please and thank you. What are you? doing <laughs> that's two turns wasted that's two turns wasted he's out speeding me which sucks man i'm able to soak and shadow ball would have ko'd this armor which really sucks now that it's uh still alive yeah we would have ko'd we would have ko'd no problem heat wave five through here typhlosion still soaks but now we're just sitting in just a terrible position just a terrible position because whimscott cannot get off a turn it simply cannot get off a turn it cannot get off a turn the Walking Wake now flies through here. And what do we even do here? We got to fast slash you in the water, right? And drop a flamethrower. So I'm gonna go for a flamethrower here. Um try to shadow ball this. I can't protect. Unburden just outspeeding us at this point, which really sucks. Hopefully Sceptile goes after Walking Wake. That would be huge, but I doubt it. It actually could maybe, considering it is Rocket Dragon Pulse. We would love that. That would be a way for us to win. If Sceptile does attack the Walking Wake, because Typhlosion outspeeds Arm Rouge, it's gonna KO Arm Rouge with the Shadow Ball, and on top of that, Flamethrower should KO Sceptile, and we should be able to circle Dragon Balls. But it is crazy, yo. Whimsicott gets off, let's say, even one of those turns. I feel like if we get off that sunny day, it would really help. But honestly, I probably should have taken out the Sceptile that turn, but I, it did have a hot chance of protecting. So, let's see how this one plays out here. He's gonna end up protecting the Arm Rouge, no big deal here. And Sceptile, can you please go after the Walking Wake? Oh, Walking Wake just outspeeds. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous because we just KO. Because we just KO. So Walking Wake outspeeding Typhlosion just a tad bit too slow to outspeed the Sceptile. The Shadow Ball is going to get blocked. So not a bad turn. Arm Rouge on the slower side. We can't flamethrower that. We got to remember that. So now it turns to a 2v2 where my Tailwind is ending. Again, I believe my Pokemon still are faster than that Arm Rouge. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It's going to be Raging Bolt. Now, Raging Bolt with Thunderclap. Looking looking a little scary. I am going to try to rip a Draco Meter in that slot and just keep the Shadow Ball into the Arm Rouge slot. So let's see how this one plays out because he could Thunderclap. He could. Now, that's where things can get actually very tough for us if he Thunderclaps my Typhlosion. And he decides not to Thunderclap anything and survive a Draco Meteor. You survive a Draco Meteor. That's absurd. Shadow Ball is outspeeding both, which is massive. But if he KOs... Say he KOs my Walking Wake here with like a Thunderbolt. We're in some trouble because Thunderclap could just KO us. E-Web comes out here. Oh no, that slows us down. We're going to lose this match. That hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. We end up losing this match. That hurts the soul. The tough... Tough plays on our end, to be honest with you guys. Not gonna lie, Women's Cot missing two turns was real rough. But from here, we're just gonna try to go for a Dragon Pulse. We have no protect on this Pokemon. And he's just gonna go for Thunderclap, which we died. Yep. 
So, big L on our part. Again, I think if Whimscott gets off at least one more turn, we win this all day. If we have the Sunny Day pop, I get my Protosynthesis speed boost. Or if we get those fake tears, my type Flosion takes out Arm Rouge in one turn. Moving on to match number two, looking to get back into the win column. We're sitting at 0 1, and we're going up against a Shen Pao and Incineroar team. They also have Rillaboom, Great Pokemon, Urshifu, Fluttermane, and Furgraf. So, a bunch of meta Pokemon that you guys seen plenty of times before. Um, Pokemon that I think they're going to lead, it would be a fake out user. So, I kind of like Typhlosion and Whimsicott here with the Covert Cloak. They got two fake out users. Intimidate won't affect any of these guys because they're special attack in. And I think it's just a solid lead all around. So, I definitely want to go into both of them. In our back end, we could go in with Iron Hands. Iron Hands isn't too bad. I wish it did have Heavy Slam in this matchup. But we might just want to go Urshifu instead. You got Sucker Punch. You got Wicked Blow. You also have Close Combat. You can do a lot of damage onto a lot of different Pokemon. So I do like Urshifu here. In our final slot, it's either Iron Hands or Walking Wake. And I'm kind of leaning towards Walking Wake. Just because it has such a wide variety of moves. And it can really get worked on, especially if we do set up a sun. So we are going to go into the same squad as we did last time. Or I could just go into Frigraph. No, you know what? I, I like this squad. I like the squad that we have. That's the plan. They have no way of weather control either on their team, which is pretty massive for us. We can set the sun this time because Whimsicott last match didn't feel like doing anything after it was confused, man. Two turns lost confusion. That's rough. We missed a sunny day, which would have gave my Protosynthesis pop. And we also missed that fake tears, which would have... Which would have dumped on the arm rouge, which would have been huge. It would have been huge. So, let's see who they go into. They go Urshifu and Fluttermane. This is going to be the water Urshifu. And we're going to go into these two Pokemon, which... Uh, do I pop an eruption? I could pop an eruption. I could pop an eruption. I could Terra eruption. And I could set the sun. I could set the sun. It won't give us a speed boost. But I like it. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna go Sunny Day here. You could Sucker Punch me, but... Actually, no. You can't Sucker Punch me. You're Water Typing. I'm gonna set Sunny Day before this. Before the Tailwind. Something I like. I wanna do this. I wanna do this. That's gonna be my play all day. So we're going right into the Fire Terror. Looking to do some big time damage. It might not KO the Urshfu, but it should KO the Fluttermane and get also big time damage on the Urshfu. Plus, the Sunny Day will negate some of the damage from Urshfu if he wants to use Water Move. I guess we'll see. But Fluttermane's also going to Terrasalize here. Straight Fairy. So this, again, this would be big. This could be real big for us to land this eruption. And maybe I sh I probably shouldn't have went for an eruption, to be honest with you guys. Especially if, he out if they're outspeeding me, which they're most likely doing. I'm going to Terrasalize you. Probably should have popped the Tailwind first. But we're going for big time eruption. High risk, high reward kind of play here. Sunny day popping. We do pop protosynthesis on that, you know what I mean? But regardless, it was already outspeeding us. And chance to arch protosynthesis pop is speed, right? No, it's special attack. That's that's bad news. That's bad news. So he's gonna U-turn it out of here. Are you popping a gleam? Are you popping a gleam? I'm curious. I am so curious. What are you popping? Burgraph comes out of here. We got eruption ready to go. He's gonna Shadow Ball. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind losing Wimscott. I don't mind losing Wimscott here. Honestly, I wish we got speed, but this eruption's big. This eruption's huge. This should be a double KO. Awesome. Get them both on out of here. So, big time eruption. High risk, high reward kind of play. I was hoping maybe one of them would protect and the other would go after uh, Wimscott. So I can get off the sunny day this turn and then tail with next turn. But hey, I'll take that all day. I'll take the two for one trade. So now we know they have Urshfu. I could bring out you with Protosynthesis Pop. That's probably your best bet, correct? Or we could bring out an Urshfu, which I'd rather just save for the back end, right? I'd rather just save it for the back end. So I am going to go into you. And they're going to go Shen Pao. Okay. So we definitely still want to erupt here, right? We definitely still want to erupt. We have pretty solid typing here. And I get my speed boost. So I'm going to erupt and I might just double down on the Shen Pao. Where do I double down on Urshifu? I feel like we double down on Urshifu here. Who's most likely to detect or protect? It would be Shen Pao, right? Seeing the fire types on the field. Yeah, we're going to double down on Urshifu. 
Yeah, cool. All right, good call for us. Good call for us. Really solid call for us. So from here, we're going to be able to outspeed Dragon Pulse going to get cooking, dealing massive damage to Urshifu. Massive damage to Urshifu. And he's just going to go for Surge Strikes, which we should soak. That's actually, I don't think we soaked that. We don't soak that. That's insane. Even in the sun. Even in the sun, we don't soak that. That is terrible. That is terrible. But good thing we do have the sun out there making our walking weight the fastest on the field. He could end up detecting the Earth through this turn, which is definitely a possibility. That is crazy, though. Actually, I think you're, you've got to be choice, right? Having you turn on you, you have to be choice. You have to be choice. And since we outspeed, I just go for a close combat here. I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse into the Urshu. Because if you are choice, we're still outspeed. Yeah, cool. Yeah, no Urshu rocks you turn. That's not choice. So I'm guessing your choice scarf, choice band, maybe, probably choice scarf. But I'm just outspeeding you because I do have that Protosynthesis boost. So he's going to go for a Sacred Sword in that slot. That's fine. We do have Focus Ash. We soaked out regardless. Close combat going to bring you down to Focus Ash. And now it's a 2v1 with a 1 HP Shen Pao. So beautiful match for us. We almost made a big time mistake, but our Eruption turn worked out perfectly in turn one. The Sunny Day Eruption picking up the double KO. We love it. From here, Sucker Punch going to be our friend. Dragon Pulse doubles down. GG's to our opponent. Let's go, baby. They going to cancel? Yep, they canceled. So we're one on one back in the win column. Let's go hop into our third and final match and look for two wins. Final match is here, and I absolutely love the team that we're going up against. We are going up against a mono dragon type team. Latios, Garchomp, Archaludon, Baxcalibur, Komo, -O, and Raging Bolt. All dragon types. This team's looking awesome. It's looking super, super cool. Um, I would love to go into Typhlosion, but. Fire doesn't really help us out up against Dragon, so Typhlosion, you're not coming in this final match. Sorry to break it to you. But from here, we could go into Whimsicott and Furigraph, because Furigraph got that Fairy Terra with Dazzling, something that we really like. Archaludon's a bit scary as well. But Urshifu's not bad here, Walking Wake's not bad, and I think we might just need Walking Wake Whimsicott. Go Urshifu in the back end, then we could just go Iron Hands. We could just go Iron Hands. I like Furigraph for that Fairy damage. Or fairy type move, but your special attack is actually rather high. Did we do that? No, I'm just gonna go Iron Hand. I think that's our safe play. I like Iron Hands here. I got Fake Out in the back end. Green Punch can do some damage. It is Vested, which is pretty good. So, special attackers. Do they have any? Archer Ludon, Latios. Yeah, this whole Vest can definitely help us out here. Okay, so one and one for today's video so far. That first match, god dang Whimscott, still haunting me. Losing turns to the Ducks, man. But second match, we played really, really well. Typhlosion, killing it in today's video. Not using it here in the third and final match, which kind of sad. But I feel like we showcased it pretty well. It's ripping Shadow Balls in match number one. Eruption going crazy in match number two. And they end up going Raging Bolt and Latios here. The Raging Bolt, Latios come out here. Um, I could set up Tailwind. Um, I could start throwing Dragon Pulse's Draco Meters. Um... What do I want to do here? Honestly, I kind of just want to rip a Draco Meter right into the Raging Bolt slot, but it does have Fairy Terra. Let's be honest here. It does have Fairy Terra. So, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to go Tailwind here. I'm just going to go Tailwind, and I'm going to Terrasalize my Walking Wake. Okay, I understand that I'm Terrasalizing him into water here. I understand that, guys. I understand that, but this is just a dodge of dragon move and maybe swap him out next turn. I doubt you're going for an electric move into that slot. You might just protect or terrestrialize. No, you don't. Wow, I should have jerked immediately the Raging Bolt, but it's all good. He's probably going to try to go Tailwind for Tailwind, so I could potentially take this out before he has a chance to even set it up. And you're Sash. You are Focus Sash. God dang it, man. <laughs> the, the old Focus Sash. So, we're probably going to go Tailwind for Tailwind here. See what Raging Bolt wants to do. Maybe set up a calm mind that can get a little scary. That could get that. Mmm. Mmm. We don't like that. That can get a little scary. It goes for E Web. Okay, I don't mind E Web. I do a little bit. I do a little bit. Do I just sacrifice Walking Wake? Pop a Sunny Day? And go for a Draco Meter? Or do I swap him? Hmm. I could use it later. I really could. 
Yeah, we're gonna go Iron Hands here. We're gonna go Iron Hands. We're gonna save our Walking Wake. It's a rather fast Pokemon, and I'm just going to Moonblast this. Raging Bolt, or do I go for Latios? I'm just gonna go after Raging Bolt here. I am gonna go after Raging Bolt. Latios, pretty strong Pokemon, can do some damage, but Raging Bolt just seems like the bigger threat. Plus, Latios does have a chance to protect now that's on 1 HP. And it does, but still, Moonblast is gonna pick up decent damage on the Raging Bolt. We like that all around. And we get a special attack drop. That's huge. That is so big. Dragon Cheer gonna come out here. And he's looking just boost crit ratio this is getting a little scary <laughs> the mono dragon types getting a little scary here you have gonna fly here and i don't really mind the crits so from here speed's gonna drop um i do have cover cloak so one got is staying fast uh i can fake out latios for the ko if i want to and i think that might be my play ko that and then just attack raging bolt because raging bolt really not posing that big of a threat to me I like that. I like this play. I like this play all day. So fake out the Latios. They could protect the Raging Bolt. If they do, they do. No big deal. But if they don't, I like the Moonblast damage. So we're going to just keep firing Moonblast into this Raging Bolt slot. And I'm kind of surprised they haven't turned slides yet. But they're just slinging E-Webs, which is not that big of a problem. It really isn't. So he ends up withdrawing Latios. Ooh, you son of a biscuit. With the withdrawal of Latios. Comes in Bax Calibur. Excalibur could potentially just Ice Shard me. That's something we don't like. Fake Out's going to do not bad damage, about 10. Moonblast's going to fly over here and pick up even more damage. He's just going to go for Thunderbolt, which you should soak, correct? Yeah, all day. That's easy soak. So Ice Shard could also fly here, which we don't like. And I could just send an EQ. I could sacrifice the Whimsicott here, set up a sunny day, and go for EQ. That's going to be my play. We're going to set up Sunny Day. I understand we're giving that thing pro synthesis pop, but I like it for my walking weight, right? I do like it on my walking weight. Should I Terrasilize Iron Hands? Oh, wait. We already Terrasilized. I think we just go I think we just go EQ here. EQ Sunny Day. Because chances are you got Ice Shard, right? You're just, you're just looking at Ice Shard me, so I might as well get off Sunny Day before I leave here. I'll give him the pro synthesis boost because I like it on my walking weight. Special attacks gonna get boosted. You are already minus one, and there's the ice shard that we that we knew was coming out. So had to use a nice little status move. Sunny day works out well. There's Sunny day. He's gonna go for a dragon pulse here, and you got best. You should be fine with this. Yeah, all day, baby, all day. EQ is gonna fly. We're gonna get rid of the raging bolt, and we're gonna deal some damage onto Max Calibur. So now if I get off a drain punch, that's pretty big, and I could bring back out my walking wake, who's gonna be able to thrive in this. In this weather. Love it. Love it. Love it. So we're going to save the Urshfu for the back end. Focus Ash Urshfu. Always solid. And they're probably going to bring back out Latios, right? They're probably like, hey, maybe I can get off a Tailwind. Nah, yo. We set up the sun for this instance. They do throw out Latios. We love it. So you could Ice Shard me. Not really going to do anything. Um, I do have speed. And to be honest, our best bet is just going to be Drain Punch. And going into... I wish I had a double hitting. But Dragon Pulse is going to be the play. Or I think I just play it safe and go Hydro Steam, to be honest. Because if you do Terrasize into Fairy, you could be immune to the Dragon move. But yeah, we're just going to play it safe with Hydro Steam. Lovely Hydro Steam. I love Hydro Steam. Hydro Steam's awesome. Such a cool move. It's a water move that boosts its damage in the sun. Come on, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So let's see what they end up doing here. I like where we're sitting here. They might Terrasize back Excalibur, which could get a little rough on our end. But either way, I like where we're sitting here. Because I don't think he can pick up a KO onto my Pokemon. Besides walking away, he'd be going to a dragon, right? So there's Terror type coming out from Bax Caliber. And what typing you got, Rocky? You got the ground terror. So you're probably looking just to pop an EQ. That's a little scary for my for my iron hands. But I wish I was going Hydro Seam into the Max Caliber. That would have been awesome. But at least we don't we allow them not to set up tail. That was my main focus here. Can't let him set up Tailwind. We really have to start with him. So let's see the play. Are you going for EQ? It's got to be EQ, right? It's got to be. Yep, there's EQ. I don't know if any of my guys are soaking this with the Terra Boost. Iron Hand soaks. Okay, cool. So Walking Wake dies out here. We don't allow them to set up Tailwind. We get Iron Hands for another turn. 
Plus, we get off this drain punch. All right, Iron Hands. Get a crit here. Just crit him. Knock him out. Man. I'll take the HP, though. So, Sucker Punch should actually be able to KO back Caliber. You have focus there. Now, do we just outspeed Bax Caliber normally? I don't know if we do. They're gonna go Komo, -O, so they don't have Terra anymore. Komo -O is here to play. And I think we just go for Drain Punch into Komo, -O and we Sucker Punch this slot. I like it. So as long as we don't protect Bax Caliber, I think we win this match pretty easily, right? Hopefully, I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Do not want to get ahead of myself. But Vaxalver could definitely protect. I know Dragon type team though. Awesome. I absolutely love going up against it. Sucker Punch flying. That's KON all day. We can say bye bye to you. And that should pretty much wrap it up, right? I mean, what move could you use that can kind of screen me over here, right? I'm trying to think. Let's see. He's going to go for Clangor Soul. I mean, that's fine. I have Focus Ash, which is good. But yeah, that, I think we pretty much won this one, no problem. So he's going to get all these different types of boosts. I think he gets a boost in every stack category, right? He just loses some HP. And he's going to be leftovers. Or no, Throat Spray. So he's plus two in special attack. The Drain Punch is going to bring you down that low. Wicked Blow is guaranteed crit, which is pretty huge. And again, I think we just win this match, right? I mean, Wicked Blow is not very effective, but it's a guaranteed crit. Do we close combat instead? We might just want to close combat instead. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. Will close combat be better for us? He's only plus one on the fence. I think close combat might be better. We might be better off just going close combat. It's not a very effective move. Yeah, we're going close combat compared to base 120 stab. Let's do it. So Clanging Scale is going to come out here. Bring us down to Focus Ash. As long as this close combat finishes it off, we win this match. And you get a defense drop. Okay, yeah, that's game. That's game. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Defense drop, I totally forgot about when you use that move. But close combat gonna fly through here. Focus Sash coming in clutch. And that's why I love having Focus Sash or Shrew in the back end. Always comes up clutch. It always does. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another 2 1 winning record onto the channel. I feel like we've been on a hot streak as recently, going 3 0 or 2 1 in probably a couple, maybe five plus videos. That's awesome. That's awesome. Especially since I came back from my PC repairs, we've been killing it on the rank ladder. But Hisuian Typhlosion, absolutely loved it in today's video. Ripping with Whimsicott, setting up the Sunny Day, setting up the Tailwind, allowing it to pop eruption with the choice specs. The damage is just ridiculous. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.